Well, I did the weigh in there. Um, I weighed 27 stone, nine pounds. Um, I've been sitting writing down plans and goals uh, for uh, weight loss towards my holiday. Now, the Ryanair flight going from Prestwick to Tenerife, um, yes, it's four hours, just over four hours going and about four hours coming back or the other way around. I know that the minimum weight I have to get to is 23 stone. I've been 23 stone before on a Ryanair flight and I can buckle the belt without an extender belt. What's an extender belt you might say? Well, it's when your regular seat belt is at full extension, right? And it won't meet. So the, the air stewardess kindly passes you this big orange belt in front of everybody, hands it to you and you go, Thank you. And then you click it in and you make all the adjustments and you've got this big orange belt across your belly because the normal belt, which is blue, won't meet. So everybody walking past can see this big orange belt around your gut. It's embarrassing because they're sometimes not very subtle at passing you the belt. They're not very discreet sometimes. Sometimes they are, which is nice. But the uh, I've had experiences where they don't mean it intentionally. It's just the way they happen to have to hand it over to you. It's the same buckle that they use to, you know, um, show you how to, you know, um, attach your belt. You want know, to do the, the, the flight checks and so on and so forth. They tell me the emergency exits are. Anyway, so I want to get down to 22 stone. I want to get my butt into the seats with the, the extender belt. And I also want to get my butt into the the wicker seats that they've got um, at, the, at the resort that we like to go to. Um, I just want to feel more comfortable. Okay, so my minimum goal to reach uh, before my holiday is 23 stone. Now, that is a total of... 65 pounds I need to lose. That is four stone, nine pounds I need to lose. And I have roughly 90 days to achieve this. So I've made a few rules for myself um, I'm going to follow. Um, number one, strictly no booze, unless social events, gatherings, uh, legit celebrations, not a mamby pamby wishy-washy celebration like it's Friday and I have to celebrate the end of the week or it's to celebrate the weekend or I changed a tire today let's celebrate that yeah it doesn't take much for a celebration with me um so yeah like I said um strictly no booze unless it's a social event carb police I am going to be the carb police I am cutting down I'm going to be the carb police. I'm cutting down on carbohydrates 100%, avoiding carbs such as buns, fries, scurly, it's what I sometimes get with the mints, uh, bread, and sometimes I like to go out to a, tea, um, uh, a garden center and have a banoffee pie. That's a biscuit base with a caramel layer and a layer of uh, banana and then cream on top. Oh, it goes down real well with a Diet Coke or a cup of tea. Anyway, so I won't be having any of that because it's not helping me with the weight loss. Um, cardio. I think I need to prioritize cardiovascular exercise over weight training. I hate to say it. I love weight training, but I think I could lose more weight doing cardio than weight training. Now, I know... Um, weight loss is mainly diet, but I want to focus on strengthening my heart and lungs and getting my, the, my internals, my cardiovascular um, endurance fitter. I've got plenty of muscle and I'm strong enough. Um, I won't lose muscle. It will just kind of like shrink. Um, I will get weaker because I'm prioritizing cardio and I'm not maintaining my weights. But that's not important. What is important is um, weight loss. And when I did the the, the stats, um, like last week or so ago, I uh, measured myself from when I first started. I have gained a lot of muscle, but I also gained a little bit of fat. And I'm more hydrated, which is good. But 
I'm not losing enough fat. I'm not losing any fat, to be honest. So anyway, uh, I want to up my cardio game. I'm either going to do YouTube aerobics. I want to do cardio exercise um, on the cross trainer. You know, maybe build it up from 15 minutes to an hour or something. Outdoor walks, getting outside and walking. Um, also, maybe some swimming, you know, help strengthen the back muscles, the core muscles. Um, you know, you burn a lot of calories when you're swimming because all your muscles are working. Uh, water, I'm going to drink nothing but water through the day. There might be a little kind of like a, a multivitamin tab or a, a, a mineral, um, what's it called, uh, electrolyte tab in the water just for flavour but also to, to boost your vitamins and minerals and uh, electrolytes. Staying clear of Diet Coke. Diet drinks, um, although they say there's no sugar in them, there's no calories in them, but what it does do is the sweeteners trick the body into thinking, oh great, there's calories coming, but they don't come and um, you crave. So after you've had a, an innocent Diet Coke, all of a sudden you're like, you want something. And it's weird how, because you wouldn't associate the two, but all of a sudden you just want something. So um, I'm gonna steer, steer clear of soda drinks, um, diet soda drinks. Um, I haven't even had any diet, uh, calorie-free energy drinks since I've had the kind of weird heart thing, you know, the palpitations, and um, I'm steering clear of coffees. Um, I had one this morning to test the water, and it, 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 I felt uncomfortable, so I'm, I'm cutting that out altogether. I'm sticking with caffeine-free coffee here. And uh, I've had this is my second one, and it's a scoop and a half, and I have no effects. I feel fine with that. Anyway, so that being said, these are my rules: strictly no booze unless a social event, carb police, hundred percent, no carbs. I'm gonna pass these lips. Uh, cardio, I'm gonna prioritize cardio over weights. Kills me to say it, but I think I need to do that. I can do a weights workout, but only if I've done my cardiovascular exercise. Uh, first, so I'm not going to do a weight session. I'm going to do cardio first. Do the minimum uh, that I, that that I require from myself, and then I can treat myself to a weight session. Uh, water, nothing but water. I'll be drinking unless it is um, coffee or a, a caffeine-free coffee or a, a a mineral pill or vitamins or or something like that in the water. Uh, electrolytes. I might have one, I've allowed myself a maximum of one Diet Coke a day, but that's a maximum, so I can take it or leave it, but I'm only having one if I do. Anyway, so that's the plan moving forward. I feel good. They say a plan without action is a daydream. I don't want this to be a daydream. I need to take action and make it reality. So let's make it happen. Been shopping, I went and bought 12 bottles of water. I got um, two of these skinny low carb bars. Um, I was looking for the grenade um, carb killer bars, but uh, the guy was saying, oh, we don't stock them anymore because um, next door to B&M, well, across from B&M is a gym called uh, the Gym Group. And apparently what the, the gym goers do is they go after the gym, they go into B&M, right? Go grab a protein bar and eat it in the aisle as they're walking about and then throw the wrapper away and not pay for it. So when he said it was a high theft item, like a protein bar, he goes, then he told me about the grazers. They've actually got a terminology for them there called grazers. So uh, this is terms for people who eat around the shops. I also got another one of these, a uh, Snicker protein bar. I'm interested in these low carb skinny bars, a uh, duo, well, there's two little bars in there. Um, High protein, low sugar bar. It has doo -doo -doo -doo, per piece 4.4 grams of carbs. Oh, no, sorry. Per piece, it has 11 grams per carb. Fuck up. All right, so while I'm sitting in the car park waiting on a job, uh, I'm going to do a little product review of this. It's called High Five. It's a uh, zero sugar, zero calorie electrolyte sports drink. So, this is the color, this is the citrus version. Give it a wee shake. So you put, you, you snap the tab, you put it in your bottle, you wait for it to dissolve, give it a wee shake. 
and there we go. Let's give it a try. First sip ever. All right. A little bit of flavor in there. It, it's funny how it adds a little bit of carbonation to it. There's little bubbles in there, and it just came from a tablet, so... Quite refreshing. That's why I like these bottles as well. They just crush away to nothing. So you can recycle it. So there is your product review of the High Five Zero Sugar Zero Calorie Energy Electrolyte Drink. So it's that time of night again. It's uh, that time of night. It's the point of no return. If I, I'm sitting outside Morrison's right now, debating with myself whether I'm going to have a drink or not. I know this doesn't sound like a, a a justification or a brag or anything like that. It's nothing to be well, not proud of. It's just. I got leftover booze from a couple of nights. I got leftover booze at my parents and I got leftover booze at mine. So I don't really need to buy any booze, but it's there if I want it. <sighs> because I didn't drink the past couple of nights all my booze, so make up for it tonight, huh? I don't know. I don't really want to drink, but I do want to drink. God. Anyway. Well, Craig drank. Find out tomorrow. See ya.